afternoon, everybody. This is incredible. Thank you so much for coming out. This is quite the turnout. So as our, our wonderful MC said, my name is Melinda Carholios. I'm the member of provincial parliament for the Great Riding of Cambridge, right here in Waterloo Region. And I was part of the BC party. Ah, let's hold off on that. In July of 2020, do you guys remember the Reopening Ontario Act? That's the bill that allows Doug Ford and the PC party to make all these laws, the vaccine mandates, the, vac the, the mask mandates, but they can do it without any voting, without any debate, without any committee time, they just do it. That's not how a democracy works. At the time this bill was tabled by the Solicitor General, I was her parliamentary assistant, which is like a junior minister. I didn't get to see the bill until it was tabled. I read the bill and I said, this is not good. And I talked to Jim about it. And he said, this is not good. And I predicted that this overreach of power would be extended. And here we are today in October of 2021. The Reopening Ontario Act is still happening. We are still seeing rules being implemented every week by this government without any debate, without any vote by your elected representatives. So, what did I do in July? I voted no to the Reopening Ontario Act. And what happened? They removed me from my parliamentary assistant role and they kicked me out of the PC party. Then they kicked 18 of my volunteers from our PC Riding Association in Cambridge. But you know what they didn't do? They didn't take away my fire. Not only did Jim and I start the new Blue Party of Ontario to give you a real option in June of 2022, but I'm at Queen's Park all the time asking them the tough question, making the statement, and most recently bringing attention to some of the dreadful legislation that's coming across the table, like Bill 12. Bill 12 was put through to try to mandate vaccine requirements for anyone in healthcare or education across the province. We put out a call to action. And because of you guys, not because of me, but because of you guys, you called, you emailed, you put the pressure on. And the BC party voted against the bill and the bill died. as you may be, I promise you, your voices, your email, your presence here today and every day, it makes a difference. Do not give up. So thank you. I'm going to pass the mic over to my husband, Jim. Thank you. Waterloo Region, thank you for having us here today. Thank you to the organizers. This is an incredible turnout. I have a story to tell you, Waterloo Region. Last year in July, when Doug Ford presented that lockdown bill, Bill 195, Belinda was the only current or former PC MVP to vote against that bill. And as much as she's trying to run away from me right now, I'm bringing her back up here. When that bill was tabled, the pressure was intense for her to skip the vote, to vote yes, to vote against her conscience. It's like the walls are caving in that kind of pressure and what they were telling her was, don't do your job, do what we want you to do. But she voted against that bill. And in exchange for representing you, she got kicked out of the party 
and 18 of her supporters got kicked out of the Ontario PC party. For years, we've been fighting the undemocratic nature of provincial politics in this party system from the inside. They've sued us. They've come after us. They've kicked us out. They've rigged elections against us. They've tried to destroy us in the press. They've called us names. They've gone after our livelihood. We know what it's like, but it does not compare to the stories that we hear every day from people across Ontario whose livelihoods are being destroyed by those same actors that run those parties and now they run the government. And so Belinda, when she was kicked out of the PC party, she said to me, I asked her, what are we going to do? Are we done with this politics? We've had enough for two lifetimes. I mean, when I got involved, I had a full head of hair, believe it or not. And Belinda said, we're not quitting, we got to keep going. She said, we're going to keep moving forward. And we registered a political party to give people an option. And shortly after we registered that party, I unfortunately was diagnosed with a tumor in my right leg. The same tumor that Terry Fox had. And so from December last year until this summer, I had to undergo three rounds of surgery, six rounds of chemo. And despite that year, Belinda kept going to Queen's Park, asking the tough questions, telling Doug Ford it was wrong, it's wrong to mask our children. Telling Doug Ford it's wrong to divide this province and pit people against each other. Telling Doug Ford that we're not going away. And she kept moving forward and looking after our five-year-old son and looking after me. And there were times when I said to myself, should we quit? Is this too much? Maybe it's all over. Maybe, maybe it's hopeless. And she said to me, we're going to keep moving forward. I need you to get back up on your feet again. And so it's such an honor to be here today and get to speak to you. And I can tell you, it's not hopeless. It may seem like it's hopeless, but it's not a coincidence that when we put out a call to action on Bill 12 and the PCs wanted to vote in favor of that bill and Belinda went to the legislature and spoke against it and the MPPs were getting their calls and they were really angry with Belinda in the house at Queen's Park. It's not a coincidence the day after that bill died that our Premier came out to do a press conference and tell us Oh, by the way, the things we've been doing for a year and a half, they're just temporary. They're going away. I'm changing my mind. That's not a coincidence. And it's not a coincidence when they tried to kick Belinda out of the legislature two weeks ago because she refuses to use a vaccine passport. And we put out a call to action. And we put out a call to action and we let you know about it. It's not a coincidence that a couple of days later, the MPPs and those establishment parties, they stopped the pressure and they are allowing Belinda and Rick Nichols to attend the legislature and vote with her conscience in debate. We know what it's like to be called names, to be ridiculed, to be mocked in public, to have the powers that be come after you. But I can tell you, when the political pressure is applied, the deception and the lies, they run out. But hope rings eternal. And every time we push back politically and you support us with the call to action, we will see the debate shift. We will see them backpedal. We will see Doug Ford change his mind. We will see Doug Ford tell us the closer we get to June, that he didn't really mean all that in the last year and a half. And we don't know when, but I know that change is just around the corner. And 
And so we're asking you to join us for the next six months as we build the new Blue Party of Ontario, get candidates across this province, get the word out, let people know that there is now another option, that you don't have to settle for those same old parties and their undemocratic ways, the one-size-fits-all model for our province. There is another option. It's the new Blue Party of Ontario, and we will run candidates like Belinda, people of conviction and courage right across this province. We will send a message to the establishment parties that we are not giving up, that you can't take our vote for granted anymore, and we are going to open up the politics for everyone to be included in the democratic process. Well, everyone except for those big money lobbyists. Maybe we'll shut them out of the democratic process. We will fight for legislation and fines that not only makes vaccine passports voluntary, we will fight for legislation and fines that gets rid of those things forever, like it's being done in other jurisdictions. We will fight for the politics that says parents are the first educators of their children and not the other way around. Yeah. And we will fight for the politics that says when you elect an MPP, they work for you and they will go with their conviction and courage to do the things that Belinda does every day. And so please keep the hope, do not give up, and I promise you the best is yet to come. Thank you for having us today. God bless you. Thank you.